www.simplenursing.com. Today we're going to be going over how to do, how to understand ACE inhibitors. I like to understand ACE inhibitors by turning your body into a nightclub. This nightclub is called Club Raz. So this is just helps you understand the renin, angiotensin 1, aldosterone system. Alright? So, I'm going to show you guys right now how ACE inhibitors break up the system to release fluid out of your kidneys and really cause the congestion on your heart to become decreased. So let's do it. Just that bounce right here. Come on now. Time to move on. Time to be strong. Don't stop now, straight to the top now. If you have beat and be with him, go ahead, mommy, breathe again. Go ahead, mommy, breathe again. Don't stop now, straight to the top now. Go ahead, mommy, make it hot now. I need me a love that's gonna make my heart stop now. And what I need is simple. Five foot five with dimples, potential wife credentials. Know about the life I'm into, life I've been through, and how I had a trifling mental. So ride with me, G4, fly with me. Times get hard, cry with me, die with me. White beach sands, lie with me. My advice is forget the limelight. Let's make love while we listen to Frank White. So tight, now I understand. Right? Yeah, take that. Come on. Let me ask you a question. If we're turning your body into basically a nightclub, what does every nightclub have here? Every nightclub has doors, right? And really the doors to your body are your kidneys. Because there's really no other way that your body can get fluid out other than your kidneys, correct? Let me take these out. <laughs> right? I mean, you can sweat it out, you can vomit, but really the best way for your body to expel fluid is through your kidneys. So, your kidneys are pretty much the door to this club, this nightclub, Club Raz. Now, every door in a nightclub has what? Who's guarding the door? That's right, the bouncer. Okay, very cool. Now, this bouncer, we call him... Tyrone, okay? And in this demonstration, we call him Aldos Tyrone, alright? Aldos... Oops, Tyrone. And uh, Tyrone, this is an enzyme that your kidneys create. Tyrone, I don't even know if I spelled that right, but this is a nursing school class, not an English class, okay? So, Aldos Tyrone is that enzyme that kind of closes the kidneys and makes sure that no one is coming out. Basically, no fluid is coming out. So, Tyrone is that guy that closes down the kidneys, makes sure no fluid is released from the body, those doors of your body, okay? So, every nightclub has upper management, correct? Kind of overseeing everything. And this upper management is located in your adrenals, okay? Upper management, the president, CEO, Mr. Renan. That is Mr. Renan up top. And he gives the orders, he calls the shots through a telephone system that basically tells Aldos Tyrone to shut down the kidneys and keep everyone inside because we want to boost revenue for this club. We want to make sure we're selling drinks and making money. So, Mr. Renan talks to um, angiotensin, basically the assistant manager, and then angiotensin 2, and then it trickles down to Aldos Tyrone, okay? And Aldos Tyrone does what again? He's the bouncer that shuts down, finally shuts down the kidneys. Tyrone. So, once we understand that, 
Then we're going to understand pretty much what goes on inside the body right here. So every club has a bouncer, yes. Has upper management, correct. Every club lets who in first? Who, who, every nightclub usually lets in um, a certain demographic in for free. And who would that be? Guys or girls? That's correct. Girls, okay? So, I'll use my black pen here. So we can call the girls sodium. These are called the NA girls, basically. Because who do girls attract? That's right. Girls attract guys in the club. Because management knows that guys are going to be the ones buying the drinks, bringing the revenue in. So if you have enough girls in the party, you're going to have more guys attracted. Same thing with the body. If you have more sodium being held on to by the kidneys, what does sodium attract? Basically, let me put it to you like this way. If you're going to go to a wedding tomorrow, and ladies, if you're going to wear a tiny dress, would you eat Chinese food that's really high in salt the night before? And everyone would say, of course not. Because you're going to be really bloated, you're not going to fit into your dress correctly. Same thing with NA, sodium. Sodium attracts the water. Basically, the girls are attracting the guys. So, it's just a way for your body to say, it's a compensatory mechanism saying, hey, um, I'm, I'm very hypotensive, my blood pressure is low. I need to increase my blood pressure. Basically, I need to increase um, the pressure in my body. So I'm going to shut down the kidneys, not let any sodium out. So basically, Tyrone is shutting down the kidneys because he's getting that call from upper management. And, let me reach over here, we're still letting sodium in. So sodium attracts the guys, basically that H2O, yeah? That water. And that water, basically that pressure is building up, building up, building up. And that H2O is really causing your blood pressure to increase. So we've pretty much reached maximum capacity in the club. And we're really causing strain on the walls of the club. Okay. So follow me here. What happens if you increase too much sodium in the body. Your blood pressure is skyrocketing, your pulse becomes really bounding, you have fluid retention, um, and your body is shutting down the kidneys at aldosterone. So one thing that ACE inhibitors do is what do we need to do? We need to block Tyrone, aldosterone, that is a aldosterone blocker, basically your ARBs, aldosterone receptor blocker. Or you can cut the lines of communication right here and right here. Basically, if you cut the lines of communication between upper management... Oh, that's my alarm clock saying I'm time's up. So I'll wrap it up here. So if you cut the lines between upper management and Tyrone, the bodyguard, basically cutting those lines of communication, you're basically blocking your renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. This is your ACE inhibitor, your um, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, because you're blocking the lines of communication. If you have a, um, a sartin or an angiotensin converting enzyme, basically if you're blocking um, an angiotensin for a sartin, you're blocking at a certain level. If you're only blocking specifically aldosterone, then that becomes an ARB, your aldosterone converting enzyme, or basically that aldosterone um, uh, receptor. You're blocking that receptor. So hopefully that makes a little more sense with ACE inhibitors, because once you block the lines of communication and Tyrone is now out of the picture, you have allowed the ladies, the sodium, to leave first. So that's why as the uh, sodium is leaving first, who follows the sodium out of the kidneys? That's right, the water, okay? So the water follows. And what comes after that? 
decreased blood pressure, decreased bounding pulses, uh, decreased JVD, decreased edema in the body. But it really all starts with blocking one of the people in management, the renin, angiotensin, angiotensin 2, or aldosterone, okay? So this little lecture, you guys should have learned how to um, understand um, ACE inhibitors, basically the prills, also the sartans, and even the um, aldosterone uh, receptors, basically blocking those two. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment below, and uh, hope to see you in our next lecture, Calcium Channel Blockers. Just that bounce right here. Time to move on. Time to be strong. Don't stop now, straight to the top now. That's what I need. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, that's for you, baby. Girl, you made me believe again. If you happy, then be with him. Go ahead, mommy, breathe again.